Developing news in Rolling Hills estates where residents in five more homes have been forced to evacuate due to a massive landslide. A bit of good news here. The ground movement is slowing and residents may be eligible for property tax relief while that unfolds. KTLA's Shelby Nelson joins us live in Rolling Hills estates with the latest developments. Shelby. That's right, we've seen public works out here, utility crews all responding to those homes affected in that community. And I'll step out so you can see the vantage point from where we are. It's truly been a nightmare for all these residents to see some of those homes hanging by a thread over that canyon. Day five and residents of this community in Rolling Hills Estates are seeking answers as many watch their homes crumble by the day. This remains an active situation. On Tuesday, the city declared a local emergency. In addition to 12 homes that were red tagged due to the ground movement, an additional five homes were asked to evacuate in the vicinity of Pear Tree Lane due to a broken sewer line. Officials say the ground has moved at least 20 feet since this all began over the weekend. LA County Assessor Jeff Prang says he met with property owners affected by the landslide, saying that property tax relief is available through what is known as the Misfortune and Calamity Program if they've sustained a minimum of $10,000 in damages. But help can't come soon enough. The area adjacent to the canyon has been under ongoing evaluation by city and county officials and utility companies. What triggered this slide is still a mystery. The city says it will be collaborating with the homeowners association to investigate and address the situation. One of the issues is will insurance cover any of this? The insurance that would cover landslide earth movement would be a difference in conditions policy. And that covers, um, it actually would cover earth movement, earthquake, um, flooding. Uh, so it's kind of an all-in-one policy. But again, it's a specialty policy and it's not covered under your regular homeowner's insurance. The mayor says the ground shifting has slowed as the HOA works to hire a geologist. We spoke with professor of geology Jeff Knott, who weighs in on what that process can look like. First thing I would do again is go around and see which houses are damaged and which are not. And you can use the house itself to see whether the, the doors are plumbed to try and delineate, delineate the size of the slide. After that, you would go and look at ground cracks to see what, because that the landslide should cause some open ground cracks. And that process could take months, but the mayor just updated me saying that the geologist has been hired. She also says of the residents living in those five homes that they could go back once those repairs with the sewer lines are made because she says they are not on moving ground. Now, in the meantime, uh, just moments ago, the fourth district supervisor, Janice Hahn, just announced that they've created a fund uh, with the city of $125,000 that is available for displaced residents. That's the very latest from Rolling Hills Estates. I'm Shelby Nelson. I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, thank you so much, Shelby.